Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marky Rochelle, and thank you for clicking on my video. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> for today's video, I wanted to do kind of a little how-to on how I achieve my faux freckles look, because I do get a lot of questions, and I do get a lot of like, is that fake? How do you do that? How do you not touch your face? So I just kind of wanted to go over all of that and give you my tips and tricks and kind of my how-to on how I achieve the look. And can we just talk about for a second how, I think it's so funny how when I was little like kids got made fun of for having freckles and now they're like a huge beauty trend and so many people wear them like it's just funny how things change when you get older right <laughs> sorry just had to throw that little tidbit in there <laughs> but anyways guys I really hope you're excited to watch this video and let's go ahead and get started Alrighty guys, so to go ahead and get started with our faux freckle look, you're going to want to grab an item that kind of resembles either a pomade or an eyeliner. You can also use a brow pencil if you'd like. For me personally, what I go to 9 times out of 10, and you guys will know this if you've seen me do my freckles in a couple different videos, I automatically go to this little guy. So this is the Ulta Dual Ended Liner, and so it comes with a little white one that I'll use like in my waterline like I did today, and then it comes with this kind of blackish brown liner and this works really good for me just because it is really creamy and it's not just like a really really harsh brown liner and it's not a really harsh black liner either it's kind of right in the middle and it kind of blends in and looks like an actual freckle per se I did want to quickly mention too if you guys are like oh my gosh I don't have any like brow pencils and I don't really have anything kind of like that eyeliner pencil that I was talking about another really good way to do this is to grab like a pomade so like a brow pomade if if you will so for example like I have here this is my beach studio pro ultimate brow palette if you open it up we have a bunch of different pomades and we also have powders in here so what I'll do sometimes if you know let's say I run out of my pencil or I can't find it I'm known to misplace things so take a little eyeliner brush kind of like so and mine is pretty beaten up so I would suggest getting something with a very fine point and a fine tip and then what I'll do is I'll just dip into my little brow pomade I'll usually use this brown one and kind of mix it with this light brown one as well but anyways let's go ahead and start with our eye pencil so you can absolutely sharpen your eye pencil that honestly works a little bit better but you do have to keep in mind when you do sharpen it it'll come out to this really really fine pointed tip and it'll oftentimes if you're doing your freckles make them a little bit too stark and a little too noticeable and make them look like they're really fake even though they are <laughs> so what I like to do if it is a little bit too sharp of a point for me I'll just take it on the back of my hand and just kind of dull it out a little bit just so it's not super, super sharp of a point and it doesn't look like really stark, you know? And then firstly, I'm gonna start to kind of go over where my natural freckles are. So you guys can see, I do have some natural ones in this region right here. They're just not very pronounced because I am wearing foundation today and they get covered in other products and stuff. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the pencil and just with a very, very light hand, I'm just gonna lightly dot over anywhere that I naturally have a freckle. I'll even lightly dot over this little um, beauty mark right here just because I think it's really cute and it just kind of ties to the overall look because if you'll notice in pictures of people that actually do have real freckles, they're not just on the nose, they often bridge out to the cheeks and even on other areas of the face as well. So I just like to keep it cohesive and make it look as natural as possible. Okay, and now that I have pretty much all of my natural freckles kind of filled in just a little bit, just to kind of mark where I'm at, I'm going to go in and just kind of fill out the sparseness of anywhere where I don't really have any natural ones. So I'll take the pencil and I'll just dot some kind of all over the place. There's really not like a super specific rhyme or reason to this. Just kind of go in like a random pattern. And you'll want to remember to like see here this one's a little bit darker than all of my other ones are you're gonna want to kind of change up the pressure as you go just because if you look at natural freckles some are darker than others so again this is all just about like kind of creating an illusion that they're really natural and they are real And it's okay if you mess up kind of like I did right here as you guys can see 
it brushes off pretty easy so I can go over it again and fix it if I need to. I feel like sometimes I kind of forget to do them on like the side of my nose and you'll notice if you turn and there's nothing there, it just doesn't really look as cohesive as it does right here and it doesn't really look as realistic. So you'll want to keep that in mind as well. And then this next step is gonna be really important. So as you guys can kind of see here, I kind of have a lot going on on my nose region. I went a little bit crazy with my freckles. So this is kind of a tip and trick that I came up with to kind of get away from that a little bit and make them look even more natural. So I just take a damp beauty sponge, kind of like so, and I'll just really, really lightly dot over those freckles I just put down. And it's just gonna kind of take away a little bit of the pigment from the pencil we just used and make them appear a little bit lighter, which is just in turn gonna make them look a little bit more natural and make them blend in a little bit. Because you don't want people looking at your face and being like, are those fake? Even though my family members do that to me all the time. Yeah, I'm calling you guys out. <laughs> and then one last tip I wanna give you guys before I end the video is to make sure, and I know this is hard, believe me, I struggle with it too, um, but after you apply your freckles, you definitely want to try to avoid touching your face as much as you possibly can. I know that's hard for a lot of people. Believe me, it's hard for me too. I have like the classic like thinker face all the time where, where I rest my face on my hand and it's just a mess. And that kind of goes for any makeup too, guys. If you can avoid touching your face as much as possible, your makeup is going to last longer and your faux freckles will last longer. So I forgot to mention that beforehand, but I wanted to mention that too before I forgot. Alrighty guys, so that completes this faux freckle how-to. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe before you leave. Also follow me on Instagram because I post all kinds of fun looks and details there as well. And until next time, I will see you soon. Thanks, guys. I'm known to miss pace. Miss, I'm, I just said not to touch my face, and I touched it like 20 different times. <laughs>